Hey guys, welcome back to Touch by Kai. I'm Kai, and today we are back in GIMP once again. So, what we're gonna do is we're gonna use this box tool up here on the left hand side. I'm just going to go ahead and just draw a box. Uh, now, your GIMP is gonna look probably a little bit different because I have things set up a little differently, but uh, it should be the same, uh, the same gist. So, I'm gonna make a box about maybe, maybe that big. Uh, and I'm gonna fill this in with the color. A uh, little bucket tool there. And I'm going to fill this in with like a, uh, kind of like that, right? And then I'm going to make the second color. I'm going to hit this little button right there so we can go to the white. And then I'm going to change the white to black. And then I'm going to grab, hit that little button again so the blue is now in the forefront. And maybe a little bit too saturated. Maybe something like that's better. There we go. Uh, and I'm going to grab the gradient tool. And we're going to go from linear to radial. And then from the center of the box that we just created, I'm just going to drag out like that. So it looks uh, something like that, and then just release, and hit enter. So now we have a nice little gradient box, which looks really good. I want to go ahead and go up to select, and hit none. Next is I want to go ahead and grab our shear tool, which is this bad boy right here. And then we'll hit um, layer, crop to content, up here at the top. So now the entire layer is just this box. Now I'm going to go ahead and just click and drag to the left, and we're going to shear our box either this way or this way. I don't care which way. I'm going to do this way, actually. I'm going to shear that by about 50. I'm going to go ahead and get the text centered because, you know, we might as well just get that out the way. I'm going to go ahead and drag a box over for the text. And we're going to type in here. I'm going to type, uh, I don't know, subscribe. Why not? Uh, I'm going to just put this uh, size on maybe 120, maybe 120. And I'm going to change this text to white, solid white there. Now, I don't like the font for this, so I'm going to go ahead and change the font that's what I'm gonna do and this is too big way too big now so I'm gonna put that on maybe 80 80 pixels maybe something like that now I'm gonna go ahead and I have this bound to Z um, but it's not bound to that in real life and I don't remember what button this is but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna tell you how to bind it just cuz so if you go to edit and then keyboard shortcuts you can type in uh, guide and then new guide by percent is what we're looking for. And I have that bound to Z, um, which by default I believe is zoom. But I don't use zoom because that's weird. So we can snap things to the center. So that's horizontal. Then we hit Z again, change the direction to vertical. And make sure that's on 50, of course. And hit OK. Now we can center things directly in the center of the canvas. So right there. I'm going to hit a new layer down here. Hit this little new layer button. Uh, make sure it's above our box. Um, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab the lasso tool. And we're going to go ahead and go across. So I'm going to click once about right there. Maybe maybe a little bit higher than it. About right there. And then go all the way over to the right hand side here. And then just make sure this goes slightly up like this. So it's kind of like a little arrow, you know. Uh, maybe even more, actually. It's a little small. Something like that. And then you see where I'm going with this. We're going to go down to the bottom corner like that. And make sure it goes inside of the box there. So it kind of covers it up. And this one, this one the same way as well. I forgot. I don't know why I did that. There we go. Now we're just going to go ahead and real quick connect these by just uh, clicking uh, that that first original point that we made. Then hit enter. Now we have this, which looks good. I'm going to go ahead and change our colors back to white by hitting this little button right there. And then just switching it to the white. And then just filling that in. Now, what we're going to do is I'm going to go ahead and put that beneath this. I changed what I wanted to do. Um, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to flip this. So I'm going to go to layer, crop to content, and then flip this. Use the flip tool and flip once. Hold down control, flip it vertically. I'm going to grab the move tool, and then we're going to move this to the bottom because I want this to be on the bottom instead of the top because I want to do something different with the top. There we go. All right, so that's on the bottom. Now what I want to do for the top is I'm going to go ahead and grab the same lasso tool we just did, but this time I am going to put the layer above it. So I'm going to hit new layer, make sure that layer is above our box, and then we're going to do the same exact thing. It's going to look exactly the same practically, but I want it to be a little bit smaller. Um, it's going to be just like this, but this time we're actually going to do the same thing on the inside. So we're going to do this and then follow it all the way through. Then I'm going to hit enter, um, and I'm going to choose a color now. So I'm going to choose a color that I want a theme to be. Um, and I think I'm going to go with uh, like a tealish color like this for today. So we're just going to hit that little, this little white color that was there and then just change that to that teal. Hit OK. And then grab our fill. And then just fill that in right there, which looks good. Select none. Now, I don't want this to be sharp. You could leave it like this. It looks fine. There's nothing wrong with that. I like that quite a bit. Um, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and go to filters, blur, Gaussian blur, and then just blur this by like five pixels, maybe. 
Uh, maybe more than five. Maybe six. Maybe more than that. Maybe let's just choose ten. What's ten look like? Uh, five. We'll do five, and then okay on that. I'm gonna add a background behind this so you can see what's going on. So I'm gonna just hit new layer. Okay, drag that down. Create like a grayish blue color, and then just fill that in. Actually, I'm gonna make it just black. Might as well just make it black. All right, cool. Um, now. I want to go ahead and with that uh, blue that we just created, I want to go ahead and hit, uh, change the, the overlay type to screen. Um, and what we're going to do is, actually, we'll not do screen. We'll do, hmm, let's do, we'll do overlay. Let's do overlay. Um, we'll put it on overlay for now. And I'll, I'll probably, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to change this. What does it look like that's, if that's white? Oh, yeah, it looks better. See, I was going to do this, but let's do this instead. So I'm going to go up to colors colorize and then I'm just gonna make this turn the lightness all the way up to make it white and now we just have a, like a white rim light which looks really good um, so now we need to kind of group these things together because they're all kind of unorganized so I'm gonna right click any one of the layers and hit new layer group and then just drag everything into that layer group so that now everything is movable together which is good um, then what we're gonna do is because the text is just plain white which looks fine but I mean it definitely could be better what I want to do is I'm gonna grab the text layer right click that hit new layer group drag the text into the layer group and then hit a new layer down here at the bottom hit OK now I'm gonna go ahead and grab the gradient tool once again and change this back from radial to linear hit this little uh, exchange color thing and then drag from the top down to about right here the bottom then hit enter and then we're going to go ahead and now we're going to change our mode from normal to hard light. Now you can see what we have here is like a nice gradient on the text, but that's too much. So I'm going to do this again until I get this how I want it. So it's going to be like that. And then I'll hold down control so it snaps. Um, maybe something like that. Looks nice. I don't want it to be too harsh though. So smoother transition. Looks good. Hit enter when you're done. And now you can see this is what we have now. That's what we had. So it just adds a nice little thing to the uh, text there and I think I changed my mind I'm gonna make this white a different color so I'm gonna grab that white that we did go to colorize color uh, go to colors colorize and then just drag the color down saturate it and I'm gonna pick a color here we're just gonna do like ooh, that looked kind of good we'll do that All right and then I'm gonna duplicate that by right-clicking hit duplicate then we're gonna go ahead and hit filter blur Gaussian blur and then we'll blur this one but ooh, I, I forgot to change that okay so layer layer to image size first and then we can do Gaussian blur um, so I think maybe something like that right and then because this looks kind of weird we'll clean it up by using the eraser tool I'll change the size of our softest brush which is this guy right here and then I'll just turn the size up a little bit and just click a couple times get rid of some of that that we don't need so all that stuff on the ends kind of try and fade it out if you get what I'm saying I'm also going to maybe, nah, I'm not going to do that, never mind. Uh, yeah, we're just going to try and fade that out a little bit. Um, and then I'm going to drop the opacity down so it's not as bright. 